I'm Sonia Eiderhoven, Gardener for Public Education at the New York Botanical Garden. I'm in the Home Gardening Center today and we're talking about plants that attract wildlife. So this beautiful and unusual shrub is called Beautyberry or Calicarpa and you can see the fruits are just starting to ripen here. The birds love this. So if you look closely you can actually see that the birds have already discovered the Beautyberry and right here they've already picked off the fruit. So the green here it's empty, the fruit used to be there. They're slowly starting to pick it off and eat it. So beautyberry flowers on new wood. All of this here is this year's growth. In the spring I come out and I actually cut it back hard. I'll cut it all the way down to here, cut it to a nice solid framework, and then let it grow, flower, and eventually produce these beautiful purple berries in the fall. Okay. So this is a butterfly bush right here. This uh, particular cultivar is called honeycomb and it's swarming with bees and butterflies. What I'm showing you today is how you deadhead it. So you can see that the flower here is starting to fade and with the butterfly bush if you just cut it back right there and you can see it's pushing new growth right at the leaves there, the leaf axle. Here cut it back to the leaf axle and once that flowers back again, back again and then I'll have flowers from July all the way into October. So this is actually one of my favorite annual sages. This is Salvia guarnetica, black and blue. While these sages attract the bees and also hummingbirds, uh, because they are scented, they repel deer. And I love the dark black calyx right here with the bright blue flowers. And again, to deadhead it, just find an old spent stem right here cut it back. So once the flower is finished, follow the stem all the way down, cut it out, and you have the new growth already starting to come out. This beautiful shrub right here is winterberry. It's a deciduous holly. Now with the holly you can see it's covered with berries. It means it's a female. It needs both a male and a female to have these berries. This one is called winter red, and the male is hiding behind the scenes and his name is Southern Gentleman. So you'll actually be able to tell which is male and which is female just from the name of the cultivar. Now these berries, if you feel them, they're slightly hard. This is a persistent fruit. It will actually stay on the plant, it will stay on the shrub into the middle of the winter, sometimes all the way towards the end of the winter. This shrub not only provides excellent winter interest for your garden, but it also gives hungry, overwintering birds something to eat. These are just a few plants to attract wildlife to your garden. Right here is the sergeant's crab apple. In a week or so, the crab apples will ripen and they'll be an important food source for migratory birds. Thanks for joining me today on a lesson on how to attract wildlife into your garden. This is Sonia Eiderhoven from the New York Botanical Garden in the Home Gardening Center.